What's up, guys? Cheeto, back at it again. Just uh, responding uh, to a tag. I was tagged by a good old mom, Mind of Milton, and uh, he was tagged by Rob's Nerdy Knives. Not 100% who started this, but I'm going to participate. And the tag was the five knives that make you happy or smile. Um, you know, just joy in general. And I would have to say these are my five. You know, uh, just bear with me, guys. I'm not doing edits and stuff at the moment. And I'm just kind of recording this in the kitchen. I'm watching my baby on the monitor. Uh, let's kick it off. Um, oh, one thing I noticed when I picked these that, well, when I laid them down, started to realize that they all, you know, they all put a smile on my face for different reasons, but they all also happen to be firsts of some kind. Like the uh, Civivi Appalachian Drifter was my first front flipper. And it's a great front flipper. I got this one, I think on Blade HQ, when they had it on sale, uh, for a pretty good price. Uh, it's great. It's a little bit small. I'm not a big fan of click points, but uh, I was aching for a front flipper since they were all the rage. Some little Damascus 9CR carbon fiber. It's cool. I like it. Liner lock version. A little fuller. I don't know. I'm just. Ooh, it failed it. It just makes me happy every time I grab it. Something about it. It's really small. But it's just very fidgety. I like it. Another one is the Kaiser Towser K. Happened to be my first Kaiser. And it's just badass. And every time I grab it, I'm like, damn. I think I could whack something with this, but I don't. Because I really like it. Super drop shot, too. Easy to flick. It's great. Liner lock, also. And then the Vosti Raccoon. This was also another first. First Vosti, also my first button lock. Very fidgety, also. Flat grind. Super sharp. This thing came super sharp, straight from the factory. And I know some people don't like Vosti, but I do. I like this one. It's awesome. Oh, and this pocket clip is great. It doesn't look the best. I mean, it looks pretty cheap, but just the way they designed it, it goes in and out of the pocket super easy. It's awesome. All right, last time I'm going to flick it. That's it. And then the Spyderco Paramilitary 2. Also another first. It was my first Spyderco. This was a gift from my wife. And I don't think she knew anything about knives, or not that much. She had somebody help her out. M390 version. This compression lock is awesome. Just drops. And this blue friggin' pops. Every time I grab it, I'm like, that color just grabs me. And it's very fidgety. Plus, you know, it's from my wife. It's awesome. And then another first is the Benchmade Hidden Canyon. This is my first, uh, oops, Benchmade. Ah, oh, crap. Got some of the sheath in there. That's one thing I don't like. It looked cool when I got it, but um, I'm not digging that sheath. Let's see if I can focus, focus, focus. There we go. S90V. I got those straps on Amazon. It's tiny, super sharp. <laughs> Can't complain. I usually carry it on my belt, kind of like cross draw. Um, I don't know. I just like carrying it. It's not like a self defense thing. It's just a good size it's, uh, EDC fixed blade and stainless. So, you know, if I ever want to do some food prep on my lunch or something, I got this. It's not my main one, I mean, a lot of times I grab the Civivi fixed blade elementum, but I don't know, these 
all make me happy. Uh, mostly, I believe, because they're my firsts, but they're great knives. Uh, I'm going to tag some more people in the description. Keep an eye out. I might get you. I'll talk to you guys later.